And we approached both Jen's agent, Sean Anderson, and the management of Maya to comment they all declined. That was Josh Fazulan reporting. Still to come on Today Tonight, taking it to the streets, how the Justice crew are using their talent as a force for good, helping troubled teens get their lives back together. Now we'll take you inside Australia's most haunted house to spend the night there with the country's leading team of Ghostbusters. Reporter David Richardson entered the 130-year-old mansion with a healthy level of scepticism, but after what happens, he and our crew walk away convinced they'd witnessed some sort of paranormal activity. This place is definitely one of the most haunted places that we've been. Um, we've experienced things here, we've seen things here, we've felt things here, we've heard things here that you can't explain. Is there anyone moving up there? Is anyone moving up there? No. Is there no one moving around up there? No one's moving. No one's moving. No movement? Yeah, I can. We can hear, we can hear noises here. It has a reputation as one of the most haunted houses in the country, Studley Park House looks just like the Bates Mansion out of the movie Psycho. And what happens inside this old, run-down, classic home is weird, to say the least. What is that? It's the gentleman from upstairs. No, no, that's got to be someone upstairs. Tell me no one's moving up there. No one's moving. No one's moving an inch. No, no. So without a shadow of a doubt, this place is haunted. The noises of the feet that you hear downstairs, the walking on the veranda, that sort of stuff, it happens all the time. Rob Kerr is a ghost hunter. He and his ghost crew have been touring the country, visiting our most haunted spots, trying to gather evidence that ghosts exist. For us, we're chasing, uh, you know, the, the golden thing in, in paranormal and ghost hunting is to get something on camera that's moving, that's a physical thing. Um, you know, a person, the shape of a person, um, a, a shadow or something like that, something that you can't explain that manifests itself there at the time. The ghost crew has joined us and Australia's ghost whisperer, Debbie Malone, to spend the night in Studley Park House. The ghost hunters have set up a battery of thermal imaging cameras and electromagnetic sensors throughout the house to pick up any movement in the pitch black rooms. Sounds echo in the cellar. It's worse when you climb through into an old storage area and continue under the house. A series of footsteps clatter on the floorboards above our heads. No way, that is freaky. That's a very loud footstep. That's more than a loud footstep. Who is that? It's almost like they're playing with you, especially with the person that was running above our head. It was as though it's a dare, as if to say, well, you want, to, you want some action, here we are. There was literally walking right above our heads. You guys are telling me there's nothing there. No one's moving. No one's moving an inch. No, no. Oh, come <laughs> on. No way. To make sure we weren't imagining that noise and to ensure no one was playing a practical joke, we returned to the room under the house, this time with all the crew. This is so loud. What was, what was that? that? That was you, you boat. That was me. What the hell was that? What was that? Ghosts or a technical glitch, who knows? We didn't expect what happened next. Is there someone moving up there? None of us was walking around. We're all in the one spot. Um, watching the monitor that we had set up upstairs. So we're all stationary. No one was moving around. Everyone was still. You heard that right. What the hell was that? And you couldn't hear anything you saw? We couldn't hear anything, no. We didn't hear any footsteps at all. Shh. Shh. It's not the first time Rob Kerr and his team have heard noises like this or more, like ghostly apparitions caught by his cameras 
and so-called spirit orbs. When you get an orb, it shows intelligence. One of them actually comes out from a corridor, goes around me and then flies past me and goes through the wall. So that's definitely that's not spooky, spooky, man. Overwhelming feelings or an overactive imagination. Studley Park House continues to pose major questions for ghost hunters. They're still searching for that elusive clue. To answer one of our oldest questions, what happens when we die? We're chasing it. We're going to keep going until we get the proof that we need. We've got some fantastic results so far. We've got some fantastic evidence. Is there anyone here? <laughs> but we're going to keep going until we get the golden piece of evidence that we're searching for. David Richardson reporting there, and you'll find more information on our website. Last night, we brought you the villains 